Hey, hey, and welcome back to the Zacharias P. Lobish Art and Adventure channel. Whoa, whoa, I think I just caught something. I caught the new model I've been working on. There it is. This is my trimaran setup, and we'll be trying this out. I've been working on this all week. Mostly I work on the model. I also go over my newest stuff going on on the big boat out there. Uh, I put the top rails on, it looks really, really clean on top. And I go out and I catch some kayak surfing waves in my 12 foot kayak, which is a lot of fun. I got kind of wiped out. I did an El Rolo, I think I did a float. first model made out of paper. I have the model out today. Thinking about trying out the trimaran in the water. I haven't done, done that yet in the water. But I made all these different sizes when I was considering how to how to build this, what ratio would be good. This was with the main hull being a lot smaller than it is in real life. Uh, these would be with the main hull being small bigger outriggers, but I ended up making the main hole bigger. So that being the case, it was initially gonna be with these, but when the main hole size changed a little bit, I made these are accurate to the outriggers I have built already. So I think I'll try these out with the sail in the water. Be doing a boomless sprit sail. And then of course the proa, I already tried that. You could use a potentially piece of PVC for this, that's what I was thinking about, but I might just go ahead and do a trimaran and do the proa later if I feel like it. Maybe change out some ideas with that.
we're about to go sail. It's pretty easy to set up. Just put the little two mast posts in there and bust out the fishing rod there. Let's give it a try. So I can already tell I need to move the outriggers forward a little bit. Looks like it's working well. Looks really cool in the water. Can't wait. So the sailboat is sailing away from me pretty quick. It's right on course, looks like. Looks good. Looks real good. Alright, I did make some adjustments and pulled the jib in a little bit. Let's see what that does. There it is, all clamped in the front. Looks good. Put some glue on there. Looks like the bird's in the drill press handle. All right. So as I clamp this down, and it hugs the curve more, it allows this front part to push down into place. So if I tried to screw it, it would be higher over here by the time I got to here. Now it just hugs the curve all the way the whole time and it pushes down. It gives the wood a little bit of extra room, just enough to push down and be flush. Seeing some beads of glue squeeze out between. That's what we want. A much more consistent curve with that, those pieces in there.